would be remiss to think that this is a one-time thing, like I've said over and over again. Uh, the people responsible for crime in, in uh, Red Deer and the Central Alberta area are small, but they are responsible for a large amount of the crime. I think it's probably the tip of the iceberg. These folks are dealing with this sort of stuff daily, and, and uh, there's not a week goes by that we don't seize firearms, ammunition, and, and drugs. For 2017, it's a sizable arrest. Uh, it's, it's a sizable impact on the community, their local uh, local individuals, so I think the, the effect it's going to have on the community is going to be profound. The collaboration, you can't say enough about the collaboration. Uh, criminals don't work in isolation, criminals don't know boundaries, uh, so neither should law enforcement. Uh, and regardless of whether it's uh, Alert or Lacombe or Edmonton or Calgary Police or the RCMP, uh, we all have the same collective goal and we work uh, strategically together uh, to stamp out crime in certainly Canada, Alberta and, and our respective communities, so very important. The message of today is that crime knows no borders and working together as a region results in safety for not just the citizens within Red Deer and Sylvan Lake but for everyone in central Alberta. We are very happy to be part of a region that is focused on safety and again thankful for the efforts of the RCMP uh, and their collective efforts in the Party Crimes Task Force to see advancements made in that regard. We are seeing more uh, weapons and we are seeing more ammunition right across the province and I think that was highlighted in the, uh, the annual report from K Division that the amount of weapons offenses and assaults on police officers has increased uh, over the years. So, well, The types of drugs that we were able to take off the road were, uh, were cocaine, uh, hydromorphone, um, you know, the weaponry that uh, we've already uh, spoken about and that's on display. It is troublesome to the community. Um, they're somewhat prevalent in the community, so anytime we can have a, uh, a seizure of this magnitude, I think it uh, serves the community well. We're working as hard as we can, with, as strategically as we can, to do the best for our communities to keep it safe. And if you're in that kind of work, if you're a criminal, um, the economy's picking up. Go get a job and, and uh, you don't have to look behind you.